Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to understand a very important question from the lead code. So let's go and understand this problem. Okay. So first of all, what we have given, we have given in this queue to count a special triplets means we have given a string array nums, right? So today we are solving this uh, problem uh, that is called uh, count a special triplets using Java. Okay. And we'll uh, try run this example as well. So keep watching to understand the logic and finally understand the code you can optimize the code later also but uh, just go through so what we have given you are given an array of uh, integers right let's suppose i'll talk about this one and uh, a special uh, triplets is a group of three indices i j and k as you can see here and uh, you can say in such a way that it should be like this means i should be greater than equal to zero and should be less than j j should be greater than i should be less than k k should be greater than k j should be less than n like that and n is the length of the uh, array length you can say right num set i should be equal equal to num set j into two num set k should be equal equal to j into two right like that means the elements length we have to return the total number of special triplets in array since we are using this uh, it is a large answer can be happen so use modulo understand right means our task is to count all such valid triplets since the answer could be large and we will take the modulo right so let's uh, understand through the example right and uh, i'll explain you here okay so just think that uh, give me one second right so let's think that we are talking about this example right means we have to take this example means three six three we have uh, three elements we have in these nums elements so we are looking for triplets right means for triplets we need at least three elements right and so we say uh, if we talk about uh, three triplets means what we are talking about i j and k right in such that i should be uh, less than j and should be less than k right means it should be like, like like this should be less than right so and nums at i was saying that uh, nums at i should be what equal equal to 2 into uh, nums at j right like that it was saying right nums at j and nums at uh, what uh, it was saying k right remember equal equal to 2 into nums at j right at j like that it was saying so let's go one by one and understand let's try uh, j equal to 1 right so if we will take j equal to 1 right means we are talking about what i j and k right so i j equal to 1 it means we are talking about what nums at nums at uh, we can say 1 j is 1 and so it is talking about 3 means we are talking about this 3 right and uh, if we'll do 2 into if we'll multiply 2 into so just do 2 into this 3 become what 6 means 2 into 6 equal to this row so build this answer map right so at i if you remember at i equal to 0 what we have nums at nums at 0 is equal to 6 and this 6 is equal to this 6 so this first condition match right now think that uh, let's scan k equal to 2 k equal to 2 means we are talking about the last one this one right and when k equal to 2 what we have to do nums at what uh, 2 become what 6 right it is also 6 and so it is also matching right so both answer is matching here right and so the answer saying the correct so if you go through the explanation you will understand what is saying okay so let me go back to the code okay so as you can see let me go here let me read the question for you not the question let's go through the code one by one okay 
okay so if you observe that this is the signature of the code we have already given right means we are giving uh nums we have given and this nums is an integer array right and so we will uh what will be our approach right so as we know that we have given an array that is called nums and we need to count all the triplets having i j and k right such that j should be greater than i and should be less than k and all i j k should be less than n means n is the length of the uh you can say array right and uh, nums at i should be it should be what uh equal equal to 2 into num set j and num set k equal to num set j into 2 right like that just that that we have just already said uh, c right now we will do what we will uh, return the count modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 will do and will return it so if you talk about the high level idea right means what we have to do we will treat each index j as a set center of the triplets because let's suppose only three elements we have right so i'll say j is the center of the triplet right then for each j we could uh we, we count what uh how many valid i on the left of the j satisfies right let me go back to the this one then you will understand right means i was talking about this one right means uh what we what this is i and j and k is there right one second i okay so we'll take a talk about i j and k right means we treat each index right this j as a center right because as you can see this is a center right so we'll treat j as a center of the triplets and then for each j we count what how many valid i we have on the left of j right both uh left of j that is satisfy satisfy nums at i equal equal to 2 into nums at j that we have seen here right this condition and how many valid k have on the left of j that satisfy this another condition right then we'll do what we will count the uh, i and j means we'll say let's suppose uh, count of i into count of k we will do and we'll do multiply and that that, that will store here let's suppose what i'm trying to say can I remove it this now? I can remove, okay? Okay. What I'm trying to say, let's suppose, means how many valid I we have on the left, left of J that satisfy this condition. And how many valid k we have that satisfy the right of uh, j uh, equal to this right that we can we, call, we can say right num set j into 2 right like that means if we find the total total triplets become what total triplets will become what it will become uh, let's suppose we'll say plus first of all we'll do plus and we'll say count count of i right into count of k so this will be your uh, how many valid i we have on the left of j and how many uh, valid k we have on the left of j if we will do multiply we'll get the total triplets right so this will be our high level idea and this is we will done uh, very efficiently using the two has map where we will use this as a you can say uh, uh, left frequency we can say left frequency right and we will say this one as a right frequency right so left frequency of j and the frequency of numbers to the left of j will say this one and uh, frequencies of numbers to the right of j we will say this okay and then we'll go through okay let me go through the code so as you can see here first of all uh, we'll take mode like this right because 
if we will take the mod right if we will take the mod means we will return the answer modulo to avoid the overflow right this is our purpose you know the uh, length will take and the count will take right and this count we will return it so as i told you we will take two things the frequency map to the right side and frequency map for the left side that we can do like this right you know how to find the frequency just put the values there right then uh, we'll once we have these things right so to get the frequency you just need to do what frequency at the given number right each number we have on the uh, array elements so uh, like three six three six three was there right so we'll get one by one frequency and we'll do plus one so each time we will update the frequency right so six is coming two times it means we will update it similarly we'll go for the right frequency right now <clears throat> okay so we have started um, uh, by counting the frequency of all numbers so we have initialized all the elements on the right side of the j right and then uh, the the uh, we have taken the left frequency right so to the left so so this this frequency will track the frequency of numbers to the left of j as we move through the array right then will iterate all the j right so this is a your traversing each j is important why because we will go for all j 0 to n right because this is our center so we'll treat nums at j as a center right and so we'll go for all the j here remember 636 right like that so we remove it from the right frequency since j is no longer right right and for that will remove the current element from the right frequency okay then we'll do what uh, double well current into two will do and we you have the current well right means uh, what what is the use of this right so we are trying to uh, find what we are we are looking for values on both side of j equal to 2 into num set j remember 2 into num set at j right that we are going to find let me show you again so we we were having these two nums at i and nums at j so we are doing what 2 into nums at j similarly we will do a nums at k is 2 into nums at j right like that we will go so we will we are looking for the values on both side of the j equal to 2 into nums at j and then, then we will do what count how many such value exist in the left and the right maps and for that once you will count it right using the nums at i equal to nums at j where i should be less than j and for that you just do a left left frequency get default and you pass this double value right you will get the left count similarly you go for the right count you will get the right count now it's time to multiply just multiply it right and then take the modulo and you will have the count right once this is done right then what we will need to do means what we are trying to do here right means we want to uh, we, we we add the number of triplets possible with the j and for that we are doing this right and we'll convert into the long long so that uh, we will be safe for multiplications right then uh, then finally we will add the nums at j to the frequency left frequency so it's uh, available for the next iteration right and and then we will return the count right once you will return the count here you will get the final count okay so let's suppose if we will talk about uh, we have we have the 636 we have right give me one second let me summarize this one give me one second okay so just think that uh, what i'm trying to do here right 
so let's dry run now right so we'll take the nums how we'll take uh, six three six okay so this is your i this is your j and this is your k okay so when uh, j is at what one means we are talking about this one this is at zero one and two right when j is one means we are talking about this element right means three right so when we do nums at three nums at i let's suppose nums at what i nums at i is what six correct we are talking about nums at zero right so when nums at zero at index this right we, then what we need to do we need to just multiply this value this value is at nums at j nums at j is what three we are doing what multiply i think i have explained you this one right so it will go on to what six similarly we'll go for the k right k is at what uh two right so we'll do two and it is coming what nums at uh, k is coming six right so the our triplets will become what right zero one and two this is our triplets okay and so we will return the count how many counts is coming now just talk about the complexity right what is the complexity is here you remember this right these things we are doing multiply so this is doing here for these things uh, so don't be get confused okay now time complexity will talk about time complexity so we are going through the single loop here right only one for loop we are going right this is the single pass through the array and it is a, a constant time using the has map iterations you as you can see we have also taking has map iterations here so it will become what o of n okay and space we are taking the has map right so we, we can say also o of n times it will also take okay because two has maps we are using for the frequency you can optimize it guys but this code is running fine let me know in the comment box that you are understood and thank you for watching this video